Good morning, world. Um, this is just taking another break. Uh, I finished this painting last night. It may not be finished, but I'm going to call it Shaman. Um, and uh, because it's a kind of a man with horns. And uh, this one kind of started out in an interesting way. Um, with uh, mountains and trees and uh, and and that was like water but then then suddenly this face came out of the canvas and I couldn't decide whether or not to make it blue or you know kind of bring the orange and more make it more real but then it just sort of wanted to stay this way and uh, then, um, and then that began to transform the water um, and have certain different things come out of the water. And uh, then it took sort of just this form here. And then it just seemed appropriate that uh, the uh, that this fellow had horns, and uh, I wasn't sure whether or not to do more with the upper part, but because there were different things coming into my mind, but I decided just to sort of leave it that way. So this is called shaman. And I don't know, you know, if there are any current things in my mind that are kind of coming out here. Um, other than that, I've sort of been learning that with my Mercury retrograde, that I have to trust my unconscious a lot or my subconscious because I go over things, go over things and they go in my mind and I get frustrated because it doesn't seem all clear but actually the learning is taking place on the subconscious level so another name for this painting that doesn't seem like it would have anything at all to do it with it but would be like perseverance and dropping pebbles in the pond with confidence that there's an intelligence, you know, a subconscious intelligence that can absorb and guide and direct. And so not to get too frustrated with things, but sort of just to sit there between the mountains, by the lake, get plenty of nature, but at the same time persevere on a regular basis to learn the things that you need to learn. And then your subconscious mind absorbs and digests all these things. The conscious mind goes through the process of confusion, confusionism. But in the subconscious mind, it's being assimilated and connected to deeper levels, which then will manifest um, in moments of insight when necessary to give you the knowledge, the direction, and the facility that you need to be able to accomplish your purpose in life. So therefore, I have this little painting called Shaman to remind me of that. All right, may the force be with you.